Hello again. This is a helicopter in a, in, a, in a kit. To open this up, I suggest using a pair of scissors and pushing against the lid like this. Once you get the parts out, oh, look at all the fun. All right, so we're going to make a hand-launched helicopter. We've got some sandpaper here. It's very rough. Oh, we've got this special thing. Got some colored popsicle sticks to choose from, some dowels. Here's a drill bit, and we've got some copper. Let's start with the popsicle stick and the holder. We put the holder in here. By the way, when you're looking for a popsicle stick, look for one that's straight. If it's got knots in it or something, maybe choose another one first. This one looks a little straighter. The grain is running straight here. All right, I'm going to slip this in here. And we're going to do two things. We're going to drill hole from the back through here. And we're also going to sand with this. From here all the way to here. All right, I'm going to take a little break so you don't have to watch all the sanding. But you get the idea, OK? OK, so as I'm getting close here, I will have sanded the color uh, off of most of this, this um, the part that's, that's on the lower edge here. And, and I should not have sanded any of the color along the top. We want to leave just a little bit right at the top here. We want to bring this down on this edge, pretty much to the point where it's, uh, where it's nearly touching, but not quite touching. As I like to say, touching almost. So this is looking pretty good now. Now that only took a, a minute, but we're going to have to do it. Look, we're going to have to do it on this side. We're going to have to then turn this around and do it here. And we're going to flip this over and do it here, and flip it over and do it here. Which means we're going to have to do this four times. This will be the last one. All right, so I'm just finishing up here. We've got, we've got four sides sanded. We've got that side and this side. Now notice each time it's sanded all the way to the edge, but we leave some, on, leave some meat on the bones, right? We don't want to take all the meat off the bones. Now, some things we can do around here is we can measure this to see if it's balanced. That's pretty good, actually. All right, uh, but this side has a little bit extra on it, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take just a little bit of weight off this one. Balancing is something we're gonna do periodically as we go. We do want it to be balanced, so that's pretty good. Doesn't have to be perfect. Now we've still got that hole to drill, so I'm going to put this in here, and I'm going to put this in here, and I'm going to drill. You can take the sandpaper and put this over the bottom. Not the sandpaper side, just the wood side. Put that down here like this. And if you put some good pressure on this, it'll go through really quite quickly. Once you get the hole started, you can take it out of the, the jig and you can watch it go through. You should see sand, little pieces of wood forming around the hole. I think we're through now. All right, there we go. Last step before we can fly it is to put a, put a stick through it. So here we take a stick and put the stick through the hole. Now it's pretty tight. Be careful. You don't want to, you don't want to break um, the wood in half. And uh, we've, we've made sure this is plenty tight. So just twist it a little bit as it goes in. And there you go. Now if you look at this very 
carefully and spin it, you can see that there are two propellers and you can move it a little bit until you just see one. At this point, you should be able to fly it. A couple of things you might notice. So I'm going to say a bit about how to fly this. Um, some things you don't want to do, right? You don't want to put your thumbs up here and, and go back and forth. This isn't going to help you fly, right? So what you need to do is put it about in the middle of your hands and put your thumbs down here like this and then draw it back with your right hand and then the flying will be when your right hand goes forward. You can practice. Go slow at first. No reason to go quickly. All right, the next thing, once you get it flying, next thing you can do is you can add this copper tape. Now this is kind of fun. Take the tape, put it in your fingers, and flick this back and forth until it separates. Once it separates, you know, take this here and go around. Now you might want to keep an eye on about where the halfway point is here. Go around once, twice, three times, four times, five, six, seven. Let's do seven. And then break this off, leaving it, leaving it um, unconnected. You should have some that's unconnected there. And then take the rest here and peel it back. Go around the same number of times. One, two, three. These are half times, by the way. Four, five, six, something like that. Once we get here, I'm going to set this up on here, and I want to, I want to balance it. I want to make sure that one side is not heavier than the other. See how that? Is there a side that, that goes down? Looks like, looks like this side is a little heavier. Although it is pretty close. This side has just a little more weight. I'm going to just pinch off a little bit of this and try it again. Ah, see how it goes around and around now? That's pretty good balance if it's, if it's happy to go around. And now I'm going to just attach these all the way. This adds momentum, and this will uh, allow it to fly much longer. So that's a, a hand-launched helicopter. It's sometimes called a Whirligig, and I hope you enjoy it. You can, by the way, if this becomes slippery, you can put a little glue right there on the connection. And we've got plenty of parts so you can make more with your friends. Thank you so much.